So yeah, how's it going everyone? Welcome to my channel. Today in this video I would like to tell you how to replace your GPU thermal paste and why you should do it and was it worth it or not. Coming up in my intro first. So yeah, I've been using this GPU right here. It's GTX 960 from Zotac. It's a little bit dustier over time and I'm using this as my external GPU unit without any cover so there's a dust everywhere and it goes uh, dirtier every time and yeah let's just clean this up reapply the thermal paste on this and let's see if there's any differences or not so yeah the second thing is about the thermal paste right I'm using here is a master gel pro or from cooler master I'm using this alcohol right here is 70 percent of alcohol and then I'm using just a tissue so yeah let's get started shall we oh uh, well uh, just wait a second I will benchmark this first so we will know the difference so yeah uh, I've done I've been done the benchmark so we can get to the tutorial itself just right now so first thing first you need the clean workspace to you know reassemble disassemble your GPU so mine is just right here in front of my computer and I just do this and yeah I have a room here for doing my graphics card so yeah you can unscrew all the screws at least until you can take apart from the GPU on the heatsink fan mine has a back plate and his just has four screws in the back open it slowly and be careful of the fan cable you can pop it just by using the little screwdriver and the next thing if you have the thermal pads you can replace it but if you don't have any like me you don't have to replace the thermal pads you just leave it there and now clean the thermal paste on the heatsink and the PCB just pour a little uh, alcohol on the tissue and rub it in until it clean enough and you have to make sure not to get the thermal paste everywhere though so yeah I think it's clean enough though it's very effective to rub it with alcohol So yeah, now uh, all of the part is disassembled, disassembled, and um, yeah, you can see here. This is the GPU. This is the heatsink fan. There's a heatsink and fan here, and this is the back plate over here. So, what should we do next? Is so first thing first, I need to make it safe by. Uh, getting this over the protective case now let's get going gentlemen so yeah now we are going to the nearest uh, tambal ban or uh, the compressor it's uh, yeah, so much cheaper than uh, you buy a duster and it's more effective it has a high pressure like air so yeah stay tuned everyone so tambal ban basically is a tire repair station you can use the compressor of high pressure air to clean your electrical devices and I just pay it 5,000 rupiah now you can clean the heatsink maybe with the brush air duster or like me to can tambal ban Remember, do not clean the PCB with the brush or you will damage the component. Only duster or tambal ban air or the air compressor that can brush the dust away from the PCB. Yeah, that's how you do it in Indonesian way. <laughs> After all the PCB, heatsink, fan, and backplate are clean, 
you can apply the thermal paste I'm just using it about the corn kernel pattern in the middle or you can X mark pattern or whatever you like so yeah you have to make sure it not too much because it would affect and harm the GPU itself so just make sure the core is covered and need to go so it's done now here and I hope this works oh well, I'm sorry for the mess if it's not working well probably just left YouTube the moment of truth everyone okay now it's on should turn on oh yes Yes, yes, we did it guys, we did it, yes, we did it, so yeah, I'll be back with the result you can see for a moment, this is the result, we can see here the highest temperature was 90 degrees, and it's colder state after the replacement, and I guess the better thermal paste you have the better result it gets so yes we could see that there is a significant result and I think it's worth it to doing it in conclusion if you are reapplying the thermal paste you could get a better temperature which means that you can get a better uh, performance so yeah that's all for me thank you very much for watching hope to see you in the next video peace